So, the short film I chose was Larry by Jacob Chase. It was made in 2017, and it's a horror film. So, the short film follows a man, and the man is working at a toll booth in an empty parking lot in the middle of the night. And he checks the lost and found and finds an iPad. On the iPad is open to a story about a monster named Larry. And when he starts reading the story, strange things start to happen. Jacob Chase does a great job using film elements to make uh, the story scarier. And three elements that he uses are the use of lighting, the use of sound effects, and close-up shots of both the main character and Larry, the monster. Chase uses lighting to set the dark, isolated setting of the film. As seen here, the light in the toll booth is dim, with a single street light over the only car in the parking lot, showing that the main character is basically alone. Later in the film, Chase makes the lights in the booth flicker on and off when Larry is near, which builds suspense. Chase also uses sound effects to further build suspense and the feeling of isolation. The sound of cicadas in the background show how quiet and isolated the main character is in the dead of night. And the sound of his heavy breathing and the light flickering work to build suspense as they show he's scared. Chase uses close-ups to show the fear in the eyes of the main character to build suspense. He also uses a close-up for Larry's jump scare at the end, the jump scare that the entire film had built up to. In conclusion, Chase masterfully used the film techniques of the close-up, dim flicker lighting, and audio effects to create a feeling of isolation and build up suspense until the final jump scare. The film was professionally done and succeeded in what it aimed to do, give me as the audience a jump scare. And Chase's elements helped in doing just that.